Do you remember the names Errol Flynn and William Holden? They were Reagan's running buddies. The actors, well, they were a bit flamboyant, to say the least. You might want to look them up. If anything, Dugard and I played down the Hollywood stuff, but we had to include it in order to show how Reagan went from a somewhat shallow celebrity to a great man. And Nancy Reagan had a lot to do with that. But what has really angered the Reagan lawyers is the absolute fact that President Reagan sometimes struggled in the White House. We believe because of his injuries. The loyalists even deny it was an intense 1987 meeting in the cabinet room where President Reagan was being evaluated by his own top guys. That's absolutely true. Associated Press report dated September 14th, 1988, which was the situation. A New Yorker magazine article dated February 24, 2011, also constructed. If you care to check this out. Fast forward to that. The success of Ronald Reagan is what modern politicians should consider and emulate in both parties. But that should not be based on a false narrative. Reagan's personal courage, overcoming a near-death experience, and holding firm to his core values is what caused him to triumph over adversity. Mythologizing Ronald Reagan does the country no good at all. He was a man with flaws like the rest of us. But his message for American politicians today is a powerful one. Stand for something. Don't back down. Fight your way through difficult times. As President Reagan well understood, there is good and evil on this earth, and it must be confronted, not excused and avoided, as we are seeing in the world today. Ronald Reagan was challenged by a would-be assassin's bullet. A lesser man would not have made it. Reagan did, and he changed the world forever by defeating the Soviet Union and restoring a vibrant economy to America. All of the presidential candidates today now should take notice. Terrified. Up to. Well, we come right back. Call Rolf. Also, Jesse Waters with the kids. Do you know who she is? Um, I do not know, but she looks like my grandma. Think he was looking at Hillary Clinton up ahead. From the first satellites to a man on the moon. I'm Lou Simon spanning the entire decade of the 60s. The folk rock movement. The Motown sound, the surf music, the British invasion, the 60s satellite survey, playing a Cal 40 charge from the 60s and telling the stories behind the songs every Saturday at 2 p.m.